What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today was Las Vegas Toy Con and there were a lot of awesome WWE figure reveals from Mattel and I want to go through them with you guys real quick. There wasn't a ton of stuff like at the other Toy Con we had earlier, um, like literally like a week ago, but there's still a lot of stuff I want to cover and show you guys, so let's go ahead and get into it. Alright guys, the first thing we have up right here is new inbox images of the new Epic Moments Kurt Angle Milko Mania 3-pack that comes with Stone Cold Steve Austin and Stephanie McMahon as well as Kurt Angle. And this is going to be the back of the box as you see here. It is shaped like the milk truck and I'm so excited to pick this set up. This is one of my earliest memories of wrestling so this is a definite must get for me and I'm very excited to see the attention to detail with this new box. Here's another image that is relating to the Epic Moments Kurt Angle. We have this new image of the shirt that um, they said will be accurate. You know, at ToyCon last week or so, we saw that it was like a checkerboard shirt, and that was just like a little prototype to show you that it will be coming with the shirt. Hopefully, it's not rubber. I hope we get a cloth shirt like it was shown at ToyCon, but um, this is the pattern for the jersey type thing that he was wearing on that moment. So this is very exciting to see that we will get more detail with this shirt. Next up, we have some new zombie images, and I really don't care about these, but I gotta say that the zombies are definitely better than the mutants and the monsters, in my opinion. Here are some new images of the new Shinsuke Nakamura. You know, G-Natty released some images of this mock, but I gotta say it does look better out of the packaging, and if the packaging is white, like G-Natty posted, that will be very fresh to see on the aisles when we go toy hunting. Next up, we have the re-released Elite 12 Kane, one of the most sought-after figures out there on the WWE Mattel action figure market. Um, this is very awesome for collectors that missed out on it on the first time. It looks like it's an exact copy of what we got with the Elite 12. The, the red looks a bit more lighter. However, it um, is looking very nice, and I'll probably pick this up to do like a comparison video to see if it really is, you know, exactly like it. But this is awesome for people that missed out on it. Next up, guys, we have this beautiful Brian Kendrick Elite, and it really sucks. I feel like this is pretty late. I feel like we've been wanting this figure for a long time now, but it is looking great. You know, it's kind of related to Big Cass and that head scan, the Elite 55, um, with the big eye mold, but this is an early prototype, so hopefully we do get some improvements on it, but I do love it. If they release it just like it is, I would definitely pick it up. I love expanding the Cruiserweight division, and it is going to come with his flag, so that is very nice, and the jacket is great as well, so this is a definite pickup. Next up, we have the new SummerSlam Elite. I believe it is V1 Matt Hardy from SummerSlam 2004. Very, very nice figure. I love that we're getting signature hands. Maybe this is going to be, you know, where they turn, they flip the mold, and we're going to get interchangeable hands in the future. You know, we could do Jeff Hardy. We could do two sweet hands. We can do all kinds of cool stuff. And they have the V1 on the armband, so, or the wrist tape, I should say, and it is looking great. I love the white pants. I am not a fan of the shirt that they chose to give us. I would have preferred the V1 shirt, and the head scan isn't the best, however. However, I'm still going to pick this figure up. Love Matt Hardy and can't wait to see what this figure looks like when it finally releases. Next up, guys, we have this beautiful Carmella figure right here in her Money in the Bank attire. Looking so fresh. I love the uh, dollar signs all over it. I think it's $100 bills. Looking very, very nice. We get a chain, a hat, and I would guess that this would come with the Money in the Bank briefcase. You know, the women's version, the white. And this is probably one of the best women figures I've ever seen. I think they nailed the head scan, um, the attire. They chose a perfect attire. And if they include the Money in the Bank briefcase and they give her a hand that actually can hold the briefcase, very, very much will be a sought-after figure in my opinion opinion and this is a very dope release next up we have another great women's figure here with naomi with her smackdown live women's championship and it is the glow in the dark version that she uh transitioned it to when she became champion i love the attire and this one is way better than the basic that we're getting way more detail in this figure great accessory the hair looks incredible and i think that this naomi figure is going to be right up there with that carmella as far as detail and great elite and i cannot wait for these women figures usually i cannot stand women figures but if they make them all the way they're making the Carmella and Naomi. I'll pick up all of them. Next up, I'm very excited for this one. We have a new flashback Edge figure in his black, red, and gold attire. Not my favorite attire and not my favorite flashback style Edge. I'm not a huge fan of the head skin, but I'm going to pick up any Edge figure. Um, I'm a huge Edge fan, and I'll definitely be grabbing this. I don't know about the boots, though. I know this is probably an early prototype, but I don't think he ever rocked boots like that in his career. He always had the uh, Ziggler slash uh, Shawn Michaels style with the... Uh, the velcro flaps and then he transitioned to kick pads so i don't know exactly where that's from but um i believe this is when he won the intercontinental championship i'm not sure exactly what moment but um i believe that is what this is but regardless of the fact i'm still going to pick this thing up 
Next up, guys, we have this new Andre the Giant. I believe this is the Elite 60. I could be wrong, but I believe this is the Elite 60. We get interchangeable heads. This is supposed to be his gimmick when he was with the machines. Very, very nice figure for what it's supposed to be. I'm not very interested in it, but I love the way it looks. The cloth singlet, the interchangeable heads. The head scan that's laying there on the little steel grate right there looks incredible. So if you're an Andre the Giant fan or a flashback collector, I definitely recommend this piece. Next up, guys, we have this new Red Rooster Elite. Great flashback figure. Looking fantastic right here. Love the cloth jacket that we're getting. And for flashback collectors, I know they're going crazy over this one. This is a must-grab for them. And again, I don't have any tie to this figure, but I do respect the man. And I think this is going to be a great figure. Even if you don't like the Red Rooster, it'll probably be a great figure for parts as well. Another flashback figure right here, guys, is this Ron Simmons, and this is looking incredible. I am loving this. I love the blue tights. I love the body mold we're getting right here, and the head scan is fantastic. I'm so excited we're finally getting this, you know, DM Ric Flair body mold in this skin tone. That's going to be fantastic for future customs and future stuff like that. Uh, Ricochet would be a great guy to make out of this body mold, and this is just a fantastic figure to have. Um, huge respect for Ron Simmons, and I feel, feel like this figure should have been a long time coming. And again, with the custom parts that you could be using for this thing, I, the freaking uh, options are endless with this, and it is a beautiful piece. But I believe that is all of the images I have for you guys today. If there are any more that come out, I will be sure to post them up and let you guys know. Let me down. Let me know down in the comment section below which ones you're most hyped for. It's very amazing to see the Mattels just pumping figures out for us, guys. It just makes amazing content. And it just all of the incredible figures we're getting this year are just beautiful pieces. And I cannot wait to see what we get this year um, in the future. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like down below. Try to get this video to 150 likes. Subscribe for more epic wwe and wwe figure related videos and i will see you guys in the next video thank you